Playing podcast. My name's Rob Howard, and this week it's just me on my own because I just went to uh, upload the latest podcast and realised we hadn't done one yet. We were supposed to be recording today anyway, but Ian couldn't do it. So uh, yeah, it's just me, um, and I guess this will be the last one of the year. Um, but we're going to do uh, games of the year uh, when we get back in January, so we can make use of the uh, December holidays to uh, to actually get our teeth into some stuff. I've got uh, Titanfall 2. I'm still waiting for it to finish installing uh, because it lets you play it before you install it, but um, it won't let you actually play through the full game until it's fully installed. So you get to the tutorial and then it's like, sorry, need to wait for the rest of the game to download. So... Um, yeah, uh, that's a bit annoying, but yeah, and it's p- taking ever so long to get the download for, off of Origin. I have to keep stopping and starting it again. Uh, anyway, so that's that. Um, I guess the only real thing I have to talk about, I, oh, I've been playing a bit of The Last Guardian, but I've literally only played about half an hour of it. Um, it's, uh, it's really cool so far. I mean, within 15 minutes, I was a mess. Um, and it's true what they say, the controls are diabolical. Um, but I don't know, there's something endearing about it and it just kind of makes you want to persevere, I suppose. But yeah, the big thing I've been doing mostly is uh, playing with my new Oculus Touch controllers, which are really quite cool. Um, they're very small. Um, it hasn't stopped me from banging them into my desk a few times since the thing that I was interested to... F- about uh, the Oculus Touch was um, kind of how much room I would need for it. I don't have an awful lot of room up in my uh, office slash bedroom here. So it's kind of like, I don't know, I've got like about two and a half feet uh, by a wide, I've got wide sort of amount of space, but uh, I've <laughs> when I was setting it up initially, the Guardian system asked you to walk around your playable area. And it was literally like I was just walking around in a very small circle. So yeah, there are some games like uh, Dead and Buried uh, that kind of assume you have that room scale sort of set up, uh, you know, that sort of playing area. Um, but a lot of the games are uh, very just very much just sort of uh, with you standing in one place, um, although you may have to dodge and weave around a little more. Uh, the controllers themselves are very light. Um, they are ergonomically designed for your left and right hands. Um, and there's kind of like uh, these, there's kind of triggers for your, um, like, f- you basically got in- index finger and thumb. There are buttons that you can press that basically give the appearance of your of those uh, fingers kind of connecting and uh, releasing. So you can make thumbs up gestures and stuff. And to grip stuff, you've kind of got another trigger kind of for your remaining three fingers. And so you, you can, after a while, I mean, at first you sort of like consciously are touching each button. But after a while, you kind of just are able to kind of make a fist and, uh, you know, and that's or pick things up. You know, it feels very natural. So, uh, yeah, so the touch controllers were 190 quid and I also f- decided that I would get the, uh, bundle that's currently on the Oculus store, uh, which is, it was 70 pounds, which is quite a lot. But when you consider that the climb, uh, was included and that on its own is normally 40 pounds, uh, I thought I would, I would, I thought it was worth taking the plunge. Uh, so, yeah, that came with, uh, I expect you to die. Also, super hot VR, which I'm definitely going to talk about in a minute. Um, and a couple of other games as well as the climb, uh, which obviously aren't that memorable. Uh, they also have 
made uh I got the unspoken as a packing game and they also uh made dead and buried as I just mentioned uh available as a free download on the store which is pretty generous there's also vr sports challenge that also comes with it oh yeah space pirate china was in the bundle and there was one more but i cannot think oh king spray which i haven't tried yet okay so one sec right yeah okay so i've got i feel like i'm absolutely uh drowning in these VR games at the moment um, and I've kind of just tried to have a quick go on everything um, so yeah the bullet train demo that's epics uh, shooty game uh, incredible stuff like these huge like full life-size guys kind of running at you while you sort of mow down mow them down on you can pick bullets out of the air and then throw them back uh, really quite impressive uh, I mean it's probably one of the best looking games even though at the end of the day it is kind of another one of these teleport shooters which uh, yeah there definitely seems to be a genre uh, of, of sorts kind of uh, forming out of these uh, these VR experiences so yeah Dead and Buried I mentioned before this is where you uh, you basically have an area of cover and you uh, have objects that you can uh, like a, you can have a shield up or you can like pick up dynamite and throw it um, there's like uh, you, you kind of uh, when you pull your guns out you you basically have to like bring up you clench your fists like on each side of your body and then pull them up like you know you're pr properly drawing them out of their holsters so that looks very cool um and the conceit is that you're dead or something and there's some kind of cool story to it uh, but yeah basically you're sort of in an area and you you try and uh, shoot your real opponent who's animated like a real person very similar to the uh hover junkers game that patrick was talking about it's kind of like that but without the movement element but every time you die you kind of uh you kind of respawn in a different location so you can't teleport about but it's very much just about kind of you know ducking for cover and uh and then and sort of firing your guns and you know just trying to take them out without getting hit yourself uh, so yeah, Expect You to Die, I still haven't played, um, King Spray, I still haven't played, what else have I played? Oh, First Contact is kind of Oculus's free, um, sort of introduction to the touch controllers, and it involves this cute little robot who, uh, is quite nervous and shy at first, but you, like, wave at him and usher him to come over, and he starts to, uh, he comes over and he starts handing you these discs, which you take off him and insert into this kind of dodgy old, uh, drive of sorts and it's like oh it's like a and then it's a 3d printer so that i guess they're all plans for this 3d printer and so the 3d printer will print out like guns or little rockets that you can pull a little string on the back of them and let go and they fly around um chaotically um yeah so there was there's some that and you can kind of mess around in there for as long as you like and it's just more of an experience more than anything but it's it's still pretty cool um what else oh yeah space pirate trainer obviously i played this on vive um great to now have it available for the oculus um and they've i think they've added a few little wrinkles to it now i think there's i don't remember there being like a radial menu that you access with your thumb uh that allows you to change the kind of uh, bullets that you fire so you can do like a sort of wide scatter shot or a beam weapon um but i mean i find i really do find myself using the shield mostly and not ha having the two guns but it's up to you but you do feel awfully vulnerable so you kind of end up sort of using the shield on your blind side while you're shooting at uh things that you can see because there's all these little drones are swarming all around you and stuff so it's quite um yeah it's quite an experience and definitely i i think i'd liken it to i think it's fair to say it could be like the space invaders of the vr generation um not that you're in a spaceship, but it's simply, uh, you know, it's just simply that kind of immediate kind of fix of a game, you know, which is really cool. Uh, so, yeah, I tried the Unspoken. Um, that it's uh, this it's by Insomniac and it's very slick. Um, and you're basically standing on these um, sort of pillars and you base you can cast fireball with your left hand and. Uh, a shield that you can use to deflect other 
projectiles coming at you uh, with your right. And you're, you've got, there's another adversary. I think this is mostly a multiplayer game, but it has like a half an hour tutorial to kind of teach you the basics of it, which just seems like it's a bit excessive. It really is. Um, so I've not actually played any multiplayer matches with it yet, but uh, it's, it's an interesting game, but I, I don't know, for all the kind of gesture stuff you're doing, it seems to be more about kind of memorising the layout of where the various little areas are that you can teleport to, and I don't know if it's going to be that great in the long run, but you never know. It's a big install, uh, so I had to get rid of it to make room for the other things that I wanted to try and get to. So um, I was just going for all the games in my library that are not installed currently. <laughs> Uh, so now, games that I actually have installed. Oh, I played a very brief bit of The Climb last night, but I was a bit drunk, so I couldn't really tell you too much about that. Um, but yeah, Super Hot VR must be probably the best thing I've tried so far. It's just incredible. I was aware of the game when it came out earlier in the year, and I think it may well top crack my top five. Um, it's not the game that was released earlier in the year, Uh it's very much a VR interpretation of it, but the whole concept is that time only moves when you do. So, you know, you can be, uh, you can have a bullet kind of, uh, a gun being aimed straight at your face. The, the enemy pulls the trigger and you can just tilt to one side and watch the bullet kind of fly past you. And then like, if there's a guy coming to your left, you can then kind of pull his gun away and give him an uppercut, punch him in the face, um, and then turn around and use the gun you just picked up to shoot uh, a guy that's standing in another direction. It's It really honestly makes you feel like Neo in The Matrix. It's just so cool. Um, so really enjoying that. Um, and yeah, I think those are all the touch games I've played so far. Um, I've got a few more to try. There's a bunch of experiences here uh, that they've they've just given away medium quill uh, a few others i've um also some of the stuff on the steam store like the uh steam vr stuff has become uh available like the lab uh the budget cuts demo i'm looking forward to playing as well so yeah I, there's like a whole load of stuff i suddenly have i i feel kind of how patrick must have felt when he got the vibe because he he was just a font of <laughs> content when he got that um yeah so and i think it i don't know i don't know if i i don't believe he got the touch controllers but i wouldn't be surprised if he did just with, with the sheer amount of content available for him um so yeah i've got the two sensors now to get full room scale you ha you have to buy a third uh, but I just don't have the room for that now, so maybe I'll get to that if I move to a bigger flat or something. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, like I said before, going to try and keep this fortnightly. Um, really depends on people's availability. Uh, Adam and Ian are both uh, travelling to Eastern Europe slash Russia uh, for Christmas, so they they just didn't have the time to to do this recording today and marcus is like a bit of a casual like on off kind of gamer so really depends on how much new stuff he's played whether we record with him or not um but yeah i'm i'm absolutely drowning in games uh i'm still playing uncharted 4 and dishonored 2 but i just haven't been able to get near them it's just longer commute i do these days and uh you know i can't always guarantee that the tv downstairs is available so uh yeah it's kind of as and when i get a chance but i am hoping to get through those games over christmas uh so that i can properly put my top five together there's some games i'm probably not going to get to i'm probably not going to get to call of duty um or civ 6 um but you know i think i think i've picked the main ones that would be in consideration at the end of the year so yeah i don't really have anything else um and i'm not just going to drag this out for the sake of it so i think i'll leave it there and you just have to have a 15 minute short sharp shock this week and i'm out <laughs>
<laughs> have a great Christmas, everyone. And I'll see you all next year. This has been the Not Playing Podcast in partnership with notlistening.co.uk where you can also hear myself, Marcus and Ian talk about movies and TV on the Not Watching Podcast and Adam Ash and Will talk about all manner of funny things on the Not Listening Podcast. You can email us at notplayingpodcast at gmail.com or you can tweet out or follow us on Twitter at notplayingpod. You can find the show notes for this show at notlistening.co.uk and if you're listening to us on iTunes then please do give us a review. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for listening. See ya. Zipper with no fruit in. My friend, I'm in, but you agree, cause I suck. You suck. I suck at all.